Um, Erwin. Nope, nothing. Yeah. That's one website. I don't know. It's probably like it might have been just modded in. Because I think is this game on PC? Yeah. Okay, that might be it then. But people are probably just playing as like damn fiddles again. That's how it go. Also, these load screens are actually super good for like just lore reasons and just figuring out like what's what's what. It's really nice. That actually is a thing in the anime. They play as the eye catch during each commercial break. Mm -hmm. And that translates actually rather nicely into the game. It does. The only thing that's funny though is that like it kind of takes the breath out of like kind of takes the mystery out of a lot of things though. And spoils things that might be coming right up. What the fuck is... She looks like she's eating a rock. That is a rock. Oh, right, right. Can I see the controller actually? I have a thing to show off. So I figured out what that weird glitch thing was I was seeing the other day. Oh yeah. So it's not... So let me, let me first go show this off because we're actually seeing this on big screen TV now. Okay, this fucking bitch. Yeah. You see how like there's the black hair on her top, but there's like brown hair on the side. Yeah. At oh. first, I thought this was there were like two character models inside of each other. The game was fucking up hard. Lighting. It's the lighting, and and the reason I found this out is because if you go back outside, look at Aaron. <laughs> like yeah. like look at the way the light refracts off his head. Like okay, I realize that <laughs> lighting and hair in this game is just kind of fucked all the way up. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Um, it's more. It's visible with Levi too. It's pretty bad with you. I think you're. No, you're not Marco. Um. Yeah. You're it's, not it's, Marco. Marco's dead. <laughs> they won't stop this game for having dead characters in there still. Yeah. No. It, okay. It's always wrong. Although it still looks really goddamn weird. It's okay. The anime just uh, just goes through the excruciating detail of explaining to us how Marco died three different times. Right. Oh boy, we're about to get a cutscene. Oh goody. <laughs> this is something you guys don't have to worry about at all into post game. At all. <laughs> oh, I've seen this one before. This is hilarious. <laughs> um You can do various like requests for people and if you accomplish them, you'll get um dialogue scenes with uh, various other characters involving them. Hanji just I just asked if she can cut off Aaron's finger. Yeah, right? Not even Titan Aaron, just regular Aaron. Can I can I do that? No. <laughs> I like, I like her right-hand man. He doesn't get to do a whole lot, but he's a funny guy. And eventually, like, he, he's usually, like, the voice of reason for Han, because... Someone what do you mean to. she doesn't What do you mean she doesn't need, need a little voice of reason in her life? She is reasonable. Always. Totally. Anyway. Someone has to. Right? The funny thing is Moblet starts getting roped into her shenanigans sometimes. <laughs> uh, like, that's probably your best idea yet. Wait, no, now I'm getting roped into these things. Shit. But yeah, no, look, look at Hanji's uh, hair at the top there. That is plastic. The light doesn't do this any favors, not what they're, like the way it's refracting. No, no, see, she's an anime figure. I know exactly how that goes. I oh, wait. Figures with red and brown hair, if you expose them to light, what, they no, all no, this start one. fading. Th that's where it was. <laughs> see, I don't know what's funnier. The fact that uh, the fact that you incorrectly call him Moblet, or the fact that his name is actually Moblet, I don't know which is funnier, <laughs> Moblet or Moblet. I always say Moblet. <laughs> then I have heard his. It, it, so I Aaron, probably haven't heard his name. Did you put in your time. name in the Moblet of Fire? <laughs> you can you can understand my <laughs> confusion about that. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, it's uh, it's questionable a lot of the time. Yeah. Oops. What is in all these different these bottles? Beware of meat. There's actually a lore reason behind that. Oh, hey, I best girl. I wasn't sure what your opinion on her would be, because, like, I do like her a lot, but her debut uh, leaves a lot to be desired. But she... Well, I mean... I mean, yeah. This man, who <laughs> looks like he needs 12 years of sleep to get rid of those bags. And <laughs> rightfully is the most paranoid motherfucker ever. We'll see more of him later, by the way. If I can tell a brief story for a moment... Chris Sabat was really, really, really wanted to get into Titan when he first f uh, heard that it was the most popular thing on the planet because for some reason he thought it would be really good for his career, not that he means anything because he's basically just shy of being a Funimation executive. No kidding. And then he fucking lost his shit when he found out that his character does nothing but scream every single line he's ever <laughs> had on screen ever. Isn't Chris Sabat usually the voice director though? I'm surprised he was stuck with that line for someone else. Uh, only for Dragon Ball stuff he oh. is is he the director now? He's uh, he does direct other stuff, but he's mostly just the Dragon Ball director. <laughs> this I want to say was 
I, I'm pretty sure this was actually directed by Mike McFarland. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, damn. They got that old talent going on here today. Neat. Yeah, so he... <laughs> So needless to say, he wasn't he wasn't nearly as happy with the most popular show on the face of the earth when he found out that he was going to be blasting out his lungs every single session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, poor guy, but... He know. actually says that he prays for his character's death. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, and he not, might get his wish at this rate. And I mean, I do too, but not for that reason. Right. I mean, if I had to be, ah, <laughs> all the fucking time, I mean, I would be too. No kidding. Ah, shit, I forgot to change back. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. It's okay, we still have the, have the Evolved Tiger Zero. No kidding. You died too quickly, but you're adorable. Fuck. <laughs> Take it, okay, guys, literally everyone who is not inside of the core uh, of the original uh, graduates, expect them to die. Like, oh, never be attached to anyone too heavily. What kind of meat do you even think that is? Because uh, I've never seen anything that can fit into that sort of a oh no, I know cylindrical it. container. Oh no, I know it is. It, it, they probably tried rendering like how you do like a certain surgical uh, wrapping of like meat, like for transportation, but they probably just made it look bad. Well, no, see that cylindrical thing is exactly how it is in the anime too. Uh. Mm. I got no fucking idea. Yeah, but it's funny. There's an actual lore reason for that. Uh, when when Mall Maria fell, since that was where most of the agriculture was, they lost a lot of cows, and as a result, meat is now super fucking scarce. Dried meat, yo. Right. <laughs> fucking jerky. It's not that hard. So anyway, they all graduated. Aaron was one of the graduating kids, and now he he's kind of like still in the cadets, but he's gonna join the scout regiment soon. And now he's like, we look at this. We're actually retaking stuff. Yeah, you know, I have to give Isayama <laughs> a lot of credit for do, uh, for doing a spin on the died three days before retirement. The we we uh, died three uh, three days before joining the force. <laughs> yep, I give him credit. That was clever. Oh yeah, this stage. This stage only has a mandatory cannon section. It does actually. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is a couple years after Mal. Uh, while Maria fell, and I guess that uh, only Bertolt was assigned to uh, fuck with people and try to crash this wall now. They never really talk about this particular occasion whenever uh, whenever they're screaming at him. They only ever talk about him, about when he did it the first time. Yeah. Also, fuck this section of the story. I hate this, story, this section of the story so much. The game or the story? The story. The story. At least the anime. Yeah. So much brooding. Oh my god! You know, honestly, due to the compressed nature of the video game, I might even say that it's actually presented better here. Yeah, I know, it really is. It's su- L Let me tell you, the, the Battle of Trost, I hated every second of it. Absolutely. Armin, Eren, fucking everyone was just like, it's hopeless, we can't do anything, no, it's like, just do something, come the fuck on. I hated this section of the story so damn much in the anime, this nearly killed it for me. I'm not even kidding about that. It wasn't for Titan Arrow, and I would say, I was just like, I'm done, I'm fucking done. Uh -oh. Let me in, you son of a bitch. Or uh, let me out, you son of a bitch. I love his fucking big ass feet. No. They are too scale for how they are in the DLC mission, by the way, it's great. His toes are red. Also, his can I just. His toes are blood. I love the fucking dumb body proportions on the Colossal Titan. Oh my god, you're in a shockwave! <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, this game's got really. Oh my god! <laughs> I hate this coding so fucking much sometimes. Oh my god, the game tried to lock me onto the colossal. Yeah. Hey, can I actually switch out because you just did the last mission? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. I I I, I want an opportunity to fuck things up somewhat. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we're doing. You know what, don't even bother using restoratives, you'll know when you're in critical. Oh no, like, I, I usually... massive critical. I usually don't bother. Well, this isn't. This one's probably scripted anyway. Unless, unless you're grabbed. This one's probably just scripted, so I'm just gonna do it now. You can throw out flash bombs and, and the spikes that don't do anything. Yep, also, you have no idea how much I'm Monster Claw this... Or Monster Hunter Claw this fucking game. <laughs> so can I go up? That'd be nice. What? Oh, go for it. No. Is this yes. Is it who I think it is? Is it Reiner? No. It, mm, oh, no. no, it's, it's, no. A beef, it's just a beefy boy. It's, yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. I wonder if I can use... Uh, it's just a magma boy. I wonder if I can use Titan Arrow in here. No, oh, no. I don't have the, uh, the meter yet. They don't give you the meter until 
six or seven stages in. Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't... Oh, boy. What? Oh, you just got a bad angle. Yeah. That happens very often with these fuckers. Hey, look, I have people backing me up, finally. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I really do not like... Find the beefy boys is the worst <laughs> thing ever because you hit so many bad angles with them. There we go. They are a completely different beast. Ha! Huh? Into. Yeah. Yes, they are. As you've shown me earlier. Alright. Go for this. Alright. Well. That, so, why is it Eren's not that great when it comes to the whole Titan Slank thing? That's only really, like, in regards to if you compare it to, like, Mikasa or fucking uh, Levi. Yeah. He does still have Swoop, which is a pretty good ability. Um, he has Guts, which allows you to endure a lot of stuff, which is really nice. Uh, Swift Objectives? What the fuck? You can do that? Down. I, I never knew Down did anything. Yeah, it's, it's the one that tells, oh, that tells no, that's, your partners. Right, right. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, I, I thought the, it was partner, the partners are fucking useless in the first game, by the way. They are. They, they actually they serve can, a purpose in two, but in the first one, they're... <laughs> they can help you with, when, when trying to score additional hits on a Titan's limbs, but that's kind of scarce. Only if you, is there a fucking go towards one of those buildings? Oh wait, wait! I think I saw. I think I saw that. Yeah, those fucking oil drums. That was weird. Sticking out of the wall. Come on, we literally just started. Although I will say they are <laughs> holding together way better than the in the anime. <laughs> it's the scarf. It suits him. <laughs> right. It's funny you're actually advising me to rewatch the anime, but uh, I'm gonna be honest. I think the game's actually done a pretty good job recapping the story for me already. Just for the, just for the sake of getting refreshed, I wasn't expecting you to actually do it. If you if you would have done it, I would expect you a, would have expected you to put it on VLC speed times four to watch it. Right, seriously. I like how he does that spinny trick that makes it look like he can do multi-directional attack right. skill, but he doesn't actually. Can, do I say, it. can I just say I love this shot, by the way? <laughs> like it's actually really nice. I like this shot a lot. Also, yeah, I no. Like it looks like he's like uh, Bertolt's biting his lip to hold from saying something but, but, uh, he's gonna regret. Right, Bertolt's body mm. proportions as the Colossal Titans is so fucking weird. Something, or, something or other about being 120 feet tall. No, it's like it's a, it's how fucking wide his torso is and his gut compared to how tiny his arms actually are. Oh, yeah, and his head. Yeah, no, it's don't so forget you gotta use the cannons because this shit is fucked. Fire on anchor. What this? That doesn't help me much. You're going through the process. Yeah. You gotta try to do it at least the uh, once. Wait, is it over here? No. Give it a taste of the mountain. Mm -hmm. That's what I was hoping to do, you little fuck. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and, and uh, get in there. So this is literally what, like most of this mission, by the way, guys. <laughs> See a triangle? Yep. Okay. <laughs> this game is generous. You actually have unlimited fucking ammo. Did I win? <laughs> How? <laughs> Why? <coughs> no fucking way. I think the cannon is actually tied in to your weapon stats. Oh my god. So normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to be you're, you're supposed to You're supposed to shoot him with a cannon. You're but supposed like, to shoot you're supposed to shoot at, at his arms yes. and take out his, and take out his arms. Yeah. On both sides and jump into the cannon on the other side as well. But apparently not. If you have the stats, you can just go right for the throat as it were. That is ridiculous. I three-shot him and you need to like dump a lot of ammo into him. It's no joke to say you might to say you might be there 5 minutes your first time. It's yeah, it's even worse because like you, you have to shoot for the arms, and the ar arms have really wonky hit detection in terms of, like, you shooting a cannon at them. Not the worst in the game, but still weird as hell. So, um, I get that he's there, and he's gone, and there was the cloud of smoke. But where did Berthold go? Uh, there was, like, something in Season 2, I think, where he was seen riding away on a horse, hit, hit, like, hidden by a, a cape. Although, how you miss that is beyond me. Also, yeah. how, also, why is it that when anyone else bails out a Titan body, like, the Titan body is left behind, but Colossal Titan is, like, gone? Because he literally burns all of his mass away. Him being able to, bur to burn away his body actually does come up in Season 3 and a half. Huh. Okie dokie, then. Boy, I just <laughs> bodied the fuck out of Bertolt. I hope he doesn't sleep or death for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, something about Bertolt and sleep? I, I hope I don't cause him sleep pains because of that. I just buy the fuck out of him. <laughs> he, he did it. He, wow. Okay, then. Holy shit. 
It's okay. He, uh... <laughs> it's not sleep apnea. He, it's, uh... How do you say he sleepwalks, he sleep tightens? I guess so. He's gonna be feeling that in the morning, though, that's for damn sure. Oh, look, more missions available. Y yay, I guess. Oh, I didn't know you can complete these missions by doing story mode, too. That's kind of nice. He looks like one of the generics from far away. Kind of does, which is funny because he's actually super unique amongst everyone else. <laughs> I will say it took me a long ass time to get familiar with all the characters in this series because I'm so used to anime giving each character like their own individual like outfits and stuff like that. So it's easy to identify them. It's kind of like a thing with, I had with Bleach back in the day, but it was super easy to identify because of the hair and like the facial structure. Here, it took me ages to figure out how what everyone is because of the, the same the, uh, uniform, the, all the same uniform, and this is actually like a down, free like down to earth art style for the facials, the facials, the faces. The you want red though? You don't see anyone with fucking anime here, that's for sure. No, you really don't. I really, I think John has the most anime haircut. And that's it. I guess so. I mean, objectively speaking. So, we have a giant hole in the front door now of Trost Sector, which is right on the outside of Wall Maria. And yeah, that's uh, that's bad. Because Titans be walking in there. I like them having having a hole in the door to that time where that guy installed my bedroom door upside down. <laughs> Essentially. That was a fairly really good uh, comparison, actually. Nah, see, it's okay. Instead of using uh, that. Um, that is Finny, which. Instead of using that leverage thing to lift the door up, they just have a thing that digs the door into the ground. Yeah. So yeah, now everyone's freaking the fuck out. Like, oh my god, we're being attacked again. Oh no, it's like we haven't seen this coming for a while now. Oh no. We need to actually use our titan killing powers to kill titans. We, we need to not, not freak out, not freak out, not freak out. Hey, even though they were... They should have literally been preparing for this after the first wall fell. I mean, I'm just saying... What do you think of Jean's mindset as compared to Aaron's? Jean's is the idea uh, that uh, that no one's ever done anything for me. I should just be looking out for myself. If I want to be in the strongest sanctum there is, I'm gonna, I'm fucking gonna, and you can't stop me. <laughs> Versus Aaron's, literally every human on the face of the earth should be a soldier, even if they can't. The elderly, women, children, fetuses, <laughs> make the, make them a goddamn soldier. No two ways about it. Aaron? No, he doesn't have that mentality. He does to a point. I mean, probably like when the series started, but no, he, he's not... In, in the very beginning. He's more gung... Well, I guess like he's more amateur about like if you're if you're going to have this like talent and you're in the, the regiment, you may as well put yourself out there and like strive for something good and like help the world out instead of just sitting on your ass inside the walls. He has this idea in the very beginning that every able-bodied man should be a soldier. If they can do what they should, even if they aren't very strong. Considering the world these people live in is not an unfounded ideal, but not everyone's cut out to be a soldier, Aaron. He doesn't really... It's a missing the forest with the tree sort of thing. He doesn't realize that if every human is a soldier, they die tomorrow because there's no one there to make their food. Essentially, yeah. Or attend their hospitals. Look at all these dead people. Right, seriously. Mina's adorable though, it sucks she died so quickly. You can tell they're going to be dead people because they're literally just Junior Mikasa and Junior Reiner. Yep, essentially. <laughs> Lollipops! Actually, you can tell which character we're playing as. I intentionally want to get captured by the t uh, by a type at least once because it makes the funniest sound in the world. It does, I, I, I've heard it before. So good.